Welcome to Mrs. K's way of converting percents into fractions and decimals. This short video is going to cover three things. Reviewing the meaning of percent, how to change percents into fractions, and how to change percents into decimals. First, a quick re re review about what the meaning of percent means. If we look at the word percent, it is made up of two words, per and cent, which means per meaning out of and cents meaning 100. So in a way, if we were writing a ratio, we would be having something out of 100. So when changing percents into fractions, it's pretty easy because we use the meaning of the word percent to write it in fraction form. Let's get a first example. 35% can be written as a ratio or a fraction of 30 five per 100. So another way I like to think of it is that the percent symbol right here is made up of a one and two zeros, which means we want to put the 30 over one and two zeros. Now, if we're able to reduce, we want to be able to simplify this to an equivalent fraction. So if I divide both the numerator and denominator by 5, I would get 7 over 20, or 7 twentieths. Now for our second example, we could have something even over 100, such as 151%. Now even though this seems like, wait Mrs. K, you can't do this, you can't put this in a fraction form, we actually can. We just have to put the 151 over 100. Since we cannot simplify, reduce, or find an equivalent smaller version of 151 one hundredths, we have simplified our fraction and converted it completely. Easy as pie. Percents are also really easy to be able to convert into decimals. First, we want to get it into fraction form. So if we have 63%, we know that we can write that as 63 per 100. And just as before, when we were converting fractions to decimals, we noticed that we have a number per 100, which the 100 would be the place value. So we're saying that we have 63 hundredths, which means we just have to write it in a decimal form as 63 in the hundredths position. Remembering the first we have as the tenths and then the hundredths position. Now let's say we had a decimal in our percentage and we still want to convert it to a standard decimal. Well this right here might seem a little tricky. It has another step included, but we are still pretty easy on how we do it. First, we want to write this as a fraction, and we want to write the whole number over 100. So we still have 12.5 over 100. Now, since we can't have a decimal and 12.5 one hundredths, we want to convert the one hundredths and the 12.5 both to whole numbers. So we can do that by multiplying both our numerator and denominator times 10. So we have 125 over 1,000. That way, because we have no decimal in the numerator, we can now convert this fraction into a decimal, knowing that we have 125 thousandths. So again, we just use our place values and we have 0 0.125 because that is 125 in the thousandths place. Enjoy this picture of puppy Callie when she's so tired that she actually steals my pillow on the couch. So sweet. See you tomorrow.